Where do babies come from? Like how do we get here? When broken down, it's a simple thing. Every species reproduces, but in different ways. For humans to make a baby, there are lots of stuff that must be just right. But the two key players are the sperm and the egg. At puberty, everyone's body changes and becomes able to reproduce. At some point between the age of 8 and 13, a person who is biologically female starts ovulating. It's also called the menstrual cycle or starting your period. About once a month, the ovaries release a teeny tiny egg into the fallopian tubes. If it's not fertilized after it's released, this egg is flushed out of the body during a period. When a person who is biologically male starts puberty, usually between 12 and 16, the testicles begin to make sperm cells. These cells travel in a milky fluid created by another gland. This mixture is known as semen. This is the fluid that is released during ejaculation. There are lots of ways a sperm and an egg can get together and join. One of the most common is when the semen is released from the penis into the vagina. Once those little swimmers are there, the sperm race through the vaginal canal, past the cervix, through the uterus, into the fallopian tubes. Sperm are drawn to an egg like a moth to a flame. Now if you don't want to become pregnant when you have sex, there are lots of ways to stop it from happening. We call this contraception. When you want to have a baby, sometimes people are not able to have a baby using the most common method. When this happens, doctors can totally help them out, like using a tool to place sperm into the vagina near the egg. Or a doctor can actually join the sperm and egg outside the body and then place the fertilized egg into the uterus. All these methods achieve the same thing. The sperm and the egg get together and unite, becoming a single cell. This is called a zygote. As the zygote travels down the fallopian tubes towards the uterus, looking for a place to nest, this tiny ball of cells divides and multiplies over and over and over. If the zygote does not find a good nesting spot in the inner lining, it passes out of the body during menstruation or your period. If the zygote does find a nesting place, this moment marks the moment when pregnancy actually begins and the zygote starts to grow into what is called an embryo. The time it takes for a baby to develop is divided into three stages called trimesters. It takes an embryo about 9 months or 39 weeks to grow into a fully developed baby. The zygote starts at the size of a poppy seed and grows into the size of, well, a baby. Most of the pregnancy takes place in the warm and comfy uterus, also known as the womb. Here it has all the nutrients needed for the little ball of cells to develop into a fully formed human body. During the 39th week, the fetus is considered full term. After about 9 months, a baby is generally ready to enter the world. There are several ways a baby can make their appearance into the world. They usually come through the vagina, but sometimes, if necessary, doctors need to help them out. They do this by opening the uterus and removing the baby that way. This is called a caesarean section or C-section. The delivery process depends on the mom's choice, her health and that of her baby. Making babies is a natural part of life and we all start from the journey of the sperm and egg. We're all human and more alike than you think.